Today, I'd like to introduce you to Vengeance RGB Pro Series Memory, our fastest and most mesmerizing addition to our DRAM family. Vengeance RGB Pro has 10 ultra-bright RGB LEDs per module that are diffused for our best-looking DRAM yet. And with IQ software, you can choose from dozens of preset lighting profiles, which can be applied across the set or to a single module. Vengeance RGB Pro also synchronizes with other Corsair RGB-enabled products, such as CPU coolers, keyboards, and fans with IQ. With its finely tuned performance PCB and carefully screened ICs, we were able to clock Vengeance RGB Pro at 4700 MHz. Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro lights up your PC with dynamic RGB lighting while delivering the best in performance and stability. For more information, head on over to Corsair.com. Whenever you insert a new memory module that's advertised with faster than standard speeds in your PC, it won't immediately run at the advertised speed. It will instead run at the standard speeds like 2133, 2400, or 2666. These are standardized speeds that all memory manufacturers adhere to. You need to go into the BIOS and enable XMP to make the memory run at the advertised speed. XMP stands for Extreme Memory Profile. It's an Intel technology that allows you to overclock your memory easily. Sometimes it's called DOCP on AMD platform. Today we will show you how to enable XMP. First, restart your PC. And repeatedly tap Delete or F2 to go into BIOS. There are two ways to enable XMP. First, use the EZ mode. Look for the XMP section. You will see it shows Disable. Just change it to Enable. Then you will see the frequency, timings and voltage. With that done, you can click on Save and Exit to save the change. And the PC will reboot. The other way is to go into the Advanced Mode. Find AI Overclock Tuner. Change Auto to XMP1 and check if the frequency is run at the advertised speed. Then you can also go into DRAM timing control to check the latency, see if the value is the same as the advertised one. You can also go into DRAM voltage. Normally, it will run at 1.35 volts automatically. You don't need to change anything. Last, press F10 to save and exit. And that's it. Quick and easy. Your memory now will run at the advertised speed. Today we are going to unbox and check out Antex Katana RGB RAM which has a very simple but very good looking design with some very smart design choices. This is a 3200MHz kit but it's also available in faster 3600MHz speed. You can see how it won this IF design award and it does have some very nice looking Japanese elements that I personally really like. It also supports all major RGB sync software like Aura Sync, Mystic Light and Polychrome Sync so you are also not going to have any compatibility issues. So let's unbox it and check out how it looks. And we can see that it has a very sleek design with this silver finish on the RGB area. So even when you keep the RGB turned off, it should look great. It's also nice to see this metallic blade-like aesthetic because the simple design will look great with other components of your PC, which we are going to test now. So as you can see, it does look really good. And even when it is turned off, it looks nice with this reflective finish. The RGB LED array on this RAM will also allow you to set it to any color you like or go full rainbow if that is your thing. So that was our first look at Antec Katana RGB RAM. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more awesome stuff.